Vivek Ramaswamy, a 38-year-old biotech entrepreneur and Republican presidential candidate, has been making headlines with his controversial statements and unconventional campaign style. He has also been rising in the national polls, surpassing some of the more established names in the GOP field. But will he be able to translate his popularity into votes and win the nomination, let alone the presidency? Ramaswamy was born in 1985 in Cincinnati, Ohio, to Indian Hindu immigrant parents who worked as an engineer and a psychiatrist. He grew up in a conservative and religious environment, attending a Catholic school and a Hindu temple. He was a brilliant student and a talented tennis player. He graduated from Harvard University with a degree in biology and then from Yale Law School. He worked as a hedge fund manager and a biotech entrepreneur, founding Royvant Sciences, a pharmaceutical company that specializes in developing drugs for rare diseases. He is married to Apoorva Ramaswamy, a former lawyer and a co-founder of Strive Asset Management, a financial firm that he also leads as the executive chairman. They have two children and live in New York City. Ramaswamy is one of the richest people in America, with a net worth of more than $950 million. He is also a rapper, an author, and a political candidate. He is running for the Republican nomination for the 2024 presidential election with a platform that opposes wokeness and identity politics. Ramaswamy's campaign strategy is based on his belief that he is running to lead the nation not the Republican Party. He said he plans to slowly and steadily work his way to third place by the end of the year and then win New Hampshire and change the momentum of the race. He has been investing heavily in advertising and online content and appearing on more than 70 podcasts and nearly every news program that will have him. He has also been visiting the early states frequently, holding more events than any other candidate on the stage. Ramaswamy's provocative rhetoric has earned him both fans and foes. Some see him as a refreshing voice who speaks truth to power and offers bold solutions to the country's problems. Others see him as a dangerous demagogue who spreads misinformation and divisiveness. His critics include rapper Eminem, who demanded that Ramaswamy stop using his song Lose Yourself as his walk-on music at campaign events. Ramaswamy's performance at the first GOP debate in Milwaukee on August 23rd was widely seen as a breakout moment for him. He dominated the conversation and drew fire from his rivals, who tried to portray him as inexperienced, extreme, and unfit for office. Ramaswamy defended his positions and attacked his opponents as career politicians who were out of touch with the American people. After the debate, Ramaswamy embarked on a two-day tour of Iowa, where he held more events than any other candidate on the stage. He attracted enthusiastic crowds who cheered his message and asked him questions. He said he was aiming for a top-three finish in Iowa and a top-two finish in New Hampshire, where he has invested heavily in advertising. However, Ramaswamy still faces many challenges and uncertainties in his bid for the White House. He has to overcome his low name recognition and lack of political experience. He has to deal with the potential backlash from his controversial statements and the scrutiny from the media and the public. He has to compete with other candidates who have more resources, endorsements, and grassroots support. And he has to convince enough voters that he is not only a viable candidate but also a trustworthy leader. While Ramaswamy's provocative rhetoric may appeal to some voters who are fed up with the status quo, it may also alienate others who are more moderate or pragmatic. For example, his proposal to raise the voting age to 25, eliminate several federal agencies, and end U.S. aid to Ukraine may be seen as unrealistic or harmful by many Americans. Ramaswamy should try to balance his boldness with some pragmatism and show that he can compromise and work with others when necessary. He may not have enough support from the core constituencies of the Republican Party, such as social conservatives, national security hawks, or Trump loyalists. Ramaswamy should try to reach out to these groups and show that he shares some of their values and concerns, while also offering a fresh perspective and a new vision. He should also try to attract more independent and swing voters who may be dissatisfied with both parties. Ramaswamy's personal and professional background is impressive and inspiring. He is a self-made billionaire who founded a successful biotech company that develops drugs for rare diseases. He is also a rapper, an author, 
and a political candidate. He should highlight his accomplishments and skills and show how they make him qualified and prepared to lead the country. He should also emphasize his positive traits, such as his intelligence, charisma, courage, and humor. Ramaswamy's campaign slogan is Make America Think Again. Whether he can make America vote for him remains to be seen. Let me know your opinion on him becoming president in 2024 and how it will impact the future of the United States. Have a great day now.